going on guys, it's Live from New York and I'm back with this week's episode of Simply Pickups. Now this week there wasn't too many garage sales going on around my area. There was a lot going on, uh, you know, maybe 10 or 15 miles out. But uh, by the time I even got done with my area, I kind of ran through all my money that I had allotted for the weekend. So I just, you know, went around maybe like 10 or 15 sales around here. Um, didn't get too much stuff because, like I said, I I was on a budget. Um, I only had a certain amount of money to spend for the weekend, and uh, I reached that limit pretty quick. So I'll start with another trade I did from a guy on Instagram. Then I'm gonna move on to uh, another retail pickup, and then I'll get into the garage sale pickups to uh, close it out. All right, so let's get right into it. We're gonna start this out with a trade I did with a guy from Instagram. His name is Tunes and Toys. Really cool guy. You should check him out. Um, I sent him a copy of Super Mario Sunshine on the GameCube and he sent me over this copy of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Um, this is the, I guess, the Gold Collector's Edition or whatever. Um, I've been looking for this game for a while. I've never actually owned the Nintendo 64 version of this game. Of course, I've played and beat this game many times, but I've never actually owned the N64 card, so it was really great to pick this one up and add to the collection. Next up, we'll get into a uh, retail pickup, something again I got from uh, Toys R Us. They're having the uh, pretty big sale. First thing that I got there was a uh, Mum Ra figure. This is from the new Thundercats reboot, well, new-ish. Um, I think I paid like a dollar and change for this guy. They had a whole bunch of these, they didn't have any of the other ones. And next up from Toys R Us, I got this uh, Thundercats Thunder Tank. Uh, this was only six bucks after the 80% off. Um, the box isn't in the greatest condition, but I mean, it's a pretty cool piece to have for, for six bucks. I think I paid like seven or eight dollars for uh, both of them. I'm looking for the Tower of Omens, but uh, I'm waiting to find a better condition box because the one that I have it, they had at my store was pretty jacked up. It was worse than that one. Uh, I should be able to find it at another store. I'm pretty sure I saw it in uh, one further further out west, so I'm going to check back and see if I can grab the uh, Tower of Omens and maybe uh, a couple of uh, other figures from the line. Alright, so let's get right into the yard sale pickups. Um, so I think about the fourth or fifth sale in, I found a copy of Grand Theft Auto 4 on the 360, and that is complete. And then a copy of Saints Row the Third. I'm not really a big fan of this series, but I paid uh, three bucks for both of those, so that wasn't too bad. Alright, so a couple of garage sales later, I took a look around and I didn't really find anything. There was a lot of stuff on, on the tables and uh, didn't see any games. So I asked if they had any and she showed me this bag. It was like this little bag. I seemed to have missed it, I guess. And uh, inside they had this uh, Guitar Hero DS Lite. Um, the Guitar Hero logo was here. I put this Ninja Turtle stick over it because I hate Guitar Hero. And uh, there are a couple scratches on the screen here, but it's overall in pretty good condition and that came with four pretty terrible games the first one is are you smarter than a fifth grader kung zoo pirates and ben 10 so uh she had that marked for ten dollars on the bag i asked if she'll take five and she gladly accepted the offer so i got a ds also it came with the charger i usually never find a charger i actually always find broken ds's so I'm going to be using that one, I'm going to keep that, and I'm just going to use that for work and stuff because the 3DS XL is really too big to keep in your pocket all day. Alright, so the next sale I went to, I didn't see any video games, but I did see this on the table. I just saw the Grand Theft Auto 3 logo. This is the uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 Kubrick set. This is a pretty limited edition, if you check it out. And it comes with uh, five of the figures from Grand Theft Auto 3. I've actually never seen one of these for sale. The back, uh, there's a rip here in the box, but overall it's in decent shape. She wanted two bucks for this. I gladly paid the two dollars. This is a pretty cool set. So I found a box on the floor at the same sale with a uh, Wii and a whole bunch of games. Um, she wanted fifty dollars for the whole box or five dollars a game or something like that. So I ended up bundling this one up. This is the only game in there worth uh, getting. This is Mario Kart Wii. And um, I actually traded this to my girlfriend for a copy of Pokemon Blue. Uh, I had a disc only copy, so I picked this one up. Now I have this on the Wii, I actually didn't have this. And I bundled that up with uh, these two Game Boy Pocket AC adapters. Uh, they're like brand new in the box. 
you open them up and it's still in the plastic and everything. Um, she wanted a buck a piece for these and five for the game. I already had paid her for the Kubrick set because I didn't see the games till afterwards. Uh, I think I paid five bucks total for everything. This is a nice round number, so I threw it out there and she accepted. All right, so the second to last sale on my list, um, I got there, they had a whole bunch of cool stuff for sale. Um, I picked up a whole bunch of comics for 10 cents a piece. They were like on the card and some of them were really cool. This is like my era from when I was growing up and buying comics, there was a lot of them in there that I remember having um, personally and also ones that I wanted to read. So I picked up a whole bunch of those. I also had a whole box of Spawn figurines and one of them that I picked up was uh, the original Spawn uh, with the mask on. Really cool to pick this up for two bucks. It's in great shape. I was a huge fan of Spawn. I'm still am actually getting back into it because I'm starting to find this stuff more frequently this year. But uh, yeah, I picked this guy up for two bucks. And then I picked up Violator. Violator 2. He's uh, a bit larger than the first Violator figurine. This one's not in as good condition. It's a little bit bent here. And the card is slightly uh, angled here. But for two bucks, pick up Violator and Spawn, that's pretty awesome. Um, so on the opposite end table, there was also a whole stacks and stacks of PS2 games. A buck each on the PS2 games originally, but after I bundled everything together, it came out to less than a dollar a piece. First game they had there wasn't even a PS2 game, it's uh, Halo Combat Evolved on Xbox. Next up, Starsky and Hutch, PS2. Legends of Wrestling. I only got that so I could draw titties on the holster. <laughs> Dynasty Warriors 4. Gauntlet Dark Legacy. This is a pretty cool game. Fighter Maker 2. Never played this. I was a huge fan of the RPG Maker series. Uh, I own the first one on PlayStation 1. I've never got to play any of the ones, but uh, that was really cool. Uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, I believe it's called. This is uh, looks like it's made by the same people who make Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Um, it's a fighting game. For a buck, I'll take a chance on it, but I've never heard of it. Speaking of the devil, we have uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2. And all of these are complete and in pretty much perfect condition. And we have a Ninja Assault by Namco. I'm pretty sure this is a light gun game. Uh, I'm not sure, but I don't have a light gun for PlayStation or PlayStation 2. This one I've been looking for for a while. It's not that it's like hard to find, because I do come across it, but it's always scrack, really scratched up. And that is a State of Emergency. This is uh, published by Rockstar. I'm not sure if this is any good or if it holds up, but I remember playing that. Next up is Black which was supposed to be like really focused on the guns and the gunplay so uh, it's actually a pretty good first person shooter next up Sly 2 Band of Thieves uh, I don't have this game so really awesome to pick that one up Street Fighter Anniversary Collection I actually have this already but uh, this is a pretty cool game so I picked it up for, uh, for trade it has uh, Street Fighter 3rd Strike and Street Fighter 2 Hyper Anniversary Edition. Uh, next up, Kingdom Hearts. Again, I already have this game, but obviously if you see a copy of Kingdom Hearts for a buck, pick it up. And uh, this is probably the best game out of all of them. Uh, really happy to add this one to the collection because this is one I was looking for. Shadow Hearts from the New World. And like I said, with all the other games, they're all complete. The discs are in perfect shape. Um, less than a buck a piece on all of those can't go wrong. Uh, I think I paid $15 for everything at that yard sale, so I was really happy to uh, come out of there with all that stuff. All right, so that was it for Saturday. I pretty much ran through all of my money. It wasn't worth going uh, anywhere else. I had like five bucks left in my budget. So I called it, went home. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to part two of this video. Um, today was my brother's high school graduation. That was at like 9, 9 a.m. we had to be there. So I was only able to go out for like 45 minutes this morning. I went out like 
around 7.45, came back at like 8.30 and then got ready. Um, so I was only able to go to like three sales today, but um, out of the three sales that I went to, I did get some pretty cool stuff. So um, let me get right into the pickups. Um, the first yard sale I went to, um, it was just, I found it on Craigslist and um, uh, actually I went there and I asked her if she had any video game stuff. She was still setting up because it was like around like 7.45, 7.50. So I asked her if she had any video game stuff. She's like, thinks, she thinks to herself and um, she says, yeah, I haven't even put it out yet. It's right here. So she grabs the box from right inside. And in the box, there's an NES console, there's a Nintendo 64, and a PlayStation 2 Slim. And that's all I could see on the top. It's like filled up a little bit. So I asked her how much she wanted for the systems. She wanted $75 for the Nintendo, um, the NES, and $50 for the 64, and like 25 bucks for the Slim PS2. So I was digging through the box, and I saw there was a whole bunch of games under, so I started picking out all the games. And uh, I asked her if I could just buy the game separately from the systems, and she said sure, so uh, I bundled them up, and here's what I got there. First game is Vegas Dream on the NES. This is uh, complete in box. As you can see, these are in like really good condition. Um, it is complete with the manual and everything. The game is still in the plastic and everything, so it's not like the greatest game or anything, but it's always cool to find boxed NES games, especially considering I don't really find them too often in the wild. Uh, next up, copy of Wheel of Fortune Family Edition. And again, as you can see, it's in really good condition, just like the other one. Next up is a copy of Home Alone 2 on the NES. And the same thing with this one, really good condition. Um, I actually had this game as a kid, so it's really cool to pick this one up. This one's definitely going in the collection. It's not, again, it's not the greatest game, but uh, I'm a huge fan of Home Alone, so it's one of my favorite like, Christmas movies. And then you have the uh, you know NES cleaning kit. Again, same condition. Um, I already have one of these, but this one was brand new. It was never open. Like the stuff inside was still sealed and unused. So uh, pretty cool to pick this one up. This is in better condition than the one I already had. And next up, copy of Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, I'm really happy to pick this one up. It's in just as good condition, if not probably the best looking one out of all of them. Um, check out the back of the box and everything really nice now the funny thing about this one was I just saw the box of games and I kind of just put them all together asked her how much she wanted and I paid for it and I got out of there I didn't look in the boxes before uh, I left I can feel how heavy they were there was obviously a game inside uh, on the way to the next sale I start checking through all the boxes and all the games are in there and everything and I get the Super Mario Brothers 3 and as I'm picking it up, I notice right in front of it was a loose copy of Super Mario Bros. 3. So I'm thinking, wow, did I not even realize this probably doesn't even have a game in it. So uh, I, I open it up, and inside was a copy of Legend of Zelda Gold Cart. This one's in really good condition. There's like a couple of uh, like marks here from it rubbing off. And you can see somebody wrote their name here. Um, I tested it out even the battery saves and everything, so I was really happy to find this one randomly. I didn't even know it came with everything. All right, and the last game was the only 64 game they had there. It's a copy of Super Mario 64. Um, it's in really clean shape. The sticker is like pretty much perfect, really colorful, and it's the like original copy. It's not like the greatest hits or whatever, so that's always a plus. Um, I bundled the games together, and I expected her to say some extravagant price but she told me $10 for everything, and you really can't go wrong with that. I don't know where she got $75 for the NES and $10 for the games, but I think she told me something about like she paid $100 for the NES like years ago, so she knows how much it's worth. So she was really stuck on $75, and I didn't even bother talking her down because I don't. I need, I need another NES. Like I need a hole in the head. Like I got stacks of them over here. I don't even. I don't even use any of them. I have just the one over here. So. And uh, I was going on the way back home and I actually found an unadvertised sale. It wasn't in Craigslist or anything. I just was following the signs on the way home. And um, I stopped in there and he actually had a, he had a whole bunch of tables and it was like all broken down like 25 cents, 50 cents, a dollar. So I went through all those tables and on the 25 cents table I found like a authentic Nintendo brand DS charger. It's like plugged in right now charging my DS. So. I have one upstairs and now I have one downstairs so I can have it charging and never have to move it around. 
Um, so you guys know what a DS charger looks like. I don't have to show you that. So I was walking around and I saw these two really big uh, glass display cases. And one of them was filled with games. A lot of them were sports games. He had like Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, uh, PS1, PS2. That was mainly like all the kind of stuff that was in there. And um, he had a couple of cool games that I wanted to pick up. Um, he said two bucks a piece on the games, which is a great deal just by itself. Just two dollars for a game. Um, I was kind of upset that some of the better games that I wanted were scratched up. There was like a Super Puzzle Fighter that was like destroyed and uh, a couple other games. But I was happy with what I was able to pick up, especially for the price that I got them for. So uh, let me get right into these. All right, so the first one we got there is Die Hard Trilogy on the PS1. Uh, I actually used to have this game when it first came out. It's not like the greatest game, but it's pretty cool. There's like three games on here, one for each movie. Um, so I saw that and I picked it up pretty much for nostalgia reasons. I know it's a greatest hits, but it's something that I would like to have in my collection. Next up is a copy of Busta Move 4 on the PS1. This is complete. Uh, I fucking love this game. It's a great puzzle game. One of my favorites, personally. And has the really cool Bubble Bobble characters in it. I think in Japan it's called like Puzzle Bobble or something. Um, so I guess it's a little generic. Next up, disc only copy of Legend of Lagaya. This is actually in pretty good shape. It's like no scratches on it, but the front of it has a little bit scratched off. It's not all the way through. You could still see like the silver reflective layer. So I tested this out and I didn't have any problems with it, but for two bucks, i um, not gonna pass up a copy of Legend of Lagai. I don't even have that in my collection yet. Next up on PS1, copy of Silent Hill. This is like a greatest hits copy. Um, it has the back cover and everything, but it's missing the manual as you can see. Also, this one's, this one's in like really good shape. There's no scratches on it or anything. So I already have that in the collection. I just picked that up for a trade. And last up for the PlayStation games, it's a copy of Dragon Ball Z Infinite World. Um, I'm pretty sure this is like a compilation of all the Dragon Ball Z Budokai games on PS2. Uh, you see in the back it says, epic battles in 25 different stages. Um, 114 dragon missions, 4 game modes, more than 40 characters, and 100 transformations. So, and you see right here, it says the best of the Budokai series. So I'm assuming that this is probably like the last one they released for PS2 that, you know, put all the characters and everything from the other Budokai games together. So, really happy to pick that one up. Um, I actually didn't even, I've never even heard of that game. I'm a huge fan of Budokai, but I've never played Infinite World. Uh, I looked it up and it's actually like a $20, $25 game, so that's pretty cool. And then we have some handheld games here. The first one is for the Game Boy Advance, and that's Kingdom Hearts. I was actually playing this. It's really cool. It kind of reminds me of a... Uh, it's kind of like um, Mario and Luigi. The way the uh, combat the combat system is, so that was pretty cool. Picked that up. Huge fan of the Kingdom Hearts series. Never played that one. I played through it a little bit so far. And the last one from there is Lego Star Wars for the 3DS. I don't have many 3DS games, so anytime I see them, I'll pick them up if it's something I'm interested in. Um, I love Star Wars, Legos are fucking cool, so pick this up, two bucks. Um, that was everything there. If I would've actually paid the two dollars a piece, it would've came out to 14 bucks, but after I had the pile, I was like, so how much you do for all this? And he tells me 10 bucks flat, so Take and give him the 10 bucks and that was it, that was a good deal. So I think I did pretty good for only spending 20 bucks this weekend and having 45 minutes to go out and garage sale. Um, you know, more important things come up in life and obviously I'm not gonna miss my, my little brother walking for high school. So I'm um, really happy, it was a great day today. So uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe. And like I always say, leave a comment down below. I love talking to you guys. Um, this is pretty much the best part of this is like the interaction and everything. So uh, again, hit me up on Instagram. I'll put the link below and peace.